Hey you guys, how are you? Thank you for being with the channel and I appreciate you guys stopping by. Today's going to be a quick one and I'm going to mention about the narcissist and their looks and their appearance. You see, the narcissist takes great pride in looking as good as they possibly can. Everything from their eyebrows to their hair to their bodies to their appearance, their clothes, everything must be perfect. Above all is the eyebrows. These have to be perfectly taken care of and they go to great lengths to make sure the eyebrows are absolutely impeccable and if you notice people and you notice people's physical appearance more times than not people have good grooming habits and they look presentable and they look nice however the eyebrows is a key indicator of a narcissist um, I'm not saying everybody with great eyebrows is one I'm just saying that when you find some narcissist people people in your life that may be, take a good look at their eyebrows. You'll notice that they're very well taken care of. And this was done in a recent study not too long ago. Um, just don't want to throw that in there. But the narcissist goes to great lengths to have the best clothes, the nicest jewelry, the best hair. Um, uh, let's don't even talk about plastic surgery, where we could go there. Implants, uh, lips, um, Botox, uh, fake eyelashes, um, extensions, you name it, the narcissist will do it. And you may say, well, why would they do that? I mean, everyone does that, right? Well, or not everyone, but a lot of people. Well, the truth of the matter is there that some people do do things to better themselves and, and a lot of people do things to make themselves appearance look better. Of course, everybody wants to feel good about themselves and to look good and feel good. However, the narcissist takes this to a different level. I'm talking a huge different level. What they do is they're trying to eternally be young. You see, they want to be in their early 20s, maybe when they're not, maybe they're approaching 40 or even older, and they want to maintain the appearance of a young person. So maybe they're wearing younger people's clothes, and maybe they're, they're trying to blend in with a younger generation and doing all the things they can do to keep up with the aging, uh, the aging factor. So it, it could be anything. It could be implants, um, breast implants. It could be getting your lips done. It could be uh, your eyebrows done, Botox, uh, lipo. It could be a, a lot of things. Now, I'm not insinuating that people that do this are all narcissists. Absolutely not. Some people do it just because they have extra money. Some people do it because it's a medical condition. Some people do it, yeah, to make themselves feel better. But the narcissist takes it completely 100%. They will not leave the house unless they're perfect. And if you give them compliments like, wow, you look great today, they're not going to say thank you. They're going to ignore it and move on. However, if you don't give a compliment, believe me, you'll hear about it. You didn't even notice what I did. You didn't even notice I got my hair done. You didn't even notice about my new eyebrows. So again, you're in a, a double bind there. But no matter what you do, you're not going to win. So the narcissist will do this and they'll, they'll wear younger people's clothes, try to get the latest fashion and they'll try to maintain their appearance. And this will go on for as long as they can maintain this. Why? Because they are against the clock. Whereas a normal human being accepts that, that father time comes and we all age and we all accept reality and, and how our looks change and fade over time. And you know maybe an average person gets something done, um, but they're not gonna take it to an extreme level. At least most people won't do that, absolutely not. The narcissist will. The narcissist probably already has had breast implants and maybe had them removed. The narcissist has definitely already enhanced other parts of their bodies that they want you to think are natural, such as eyebrows, such as lips, such as um, hair. Of course, hair is a big one. And all of these things to make the appearance that they are absolutely impeccable, when in fact most of this is just cosmics, or co uh, cosmetology, sorry. Uh, cosmetics, sorry. And what they want to do is let you have the appearance, or let them have the appearance that, wow, what she is so beautiful, oh my God. Well, again, I go back to Father Time. Father Time catches up with all of us. It's inevitable. And however that works out for you, you want to be your best and be presentable and, and maintain a, a good look, we all do. But the narcissist refuses to acknowledge Father Time, just like she refuses to acknowledge you in your relationship. 
in your wedding, in your marriage. And just like she refuses to acknowledge your feelings, your empathy, or your heart, or your kindness, or your love. The narcissist will always be battling this. They'll always be battling their age, and they'll always be battling their looks. Nothing will ever be good enough, just like you weren't good enough for them as their supply. You ran out. They had to get a new supply. And now, as with that, all good things come to an end. Or in the narcissist situation, all things come to an end. So they will continuously be buying the latest beauty products, the latest enhancements, spending money on themselves, of course, to better appear for their next victim, for the next person that they will suck dry. The narcissist always plays this game. It is like rinse, wash, repeat. They find their next person. They love bomb them. They spend all the time with them, get to know them, and think it's the best thing. The person's fooled into thinking, wow, I found the lucky one. This is great. And the next thing you know, they're discarded, and the narcissist moves on to another supply. You see, the narcissist can't love. They are incapable of love. They are incapable of compassion, of empathy, and feelings. And what they, what they always struggle with is their inner being. They're not satisfied. They're stuck in a seven-year-old's body. They're stuck way back when. They don't know how to communicate and relate to people. Getting back on track with their looks and how they be and how they present themselves, you can tell a lot from the way a narcissist looks. Most of them are very well groomed. They, they're maintained very well properly and because they're looking for compliments. They want you to say, wow, you look fantastic. You look incredible. Again, if, if, if you're in a room full of people, you can pretty much spot the narcissist. Not necessarily because they look great, it's not the way it is, but by not only how they look, but look for fake things. Fake is how they live their lives. Their whole life is fake. So it's only, it only makes sense that their body would be fake too. Breast enhancements, enhancements eyebrows, lips, collagen, all of these things to fight aging. The aging process will catch up with them, just like it catches up with all of us. And that is the narcissist's worst enemy. You may ask, well, why is that the worst enemy of the narcissist? Very simple answer, and give this a moment of thought. When you're 20 years old, 25, 30, 35, you can get away with certain things because you're young, and a lot of people are naive, and, and they're, you're just young, and just, you know, it, it's different. When you're 45, 50, 55, and you're aging, and you're, you're up there in years, you can't do the same things you used to do. It's not cute anymore. It's not adorable. You can't just bat your eyelashes and, and get a guy. It doesn't work like that. People are smarter. More importantly, people in the 45s, 50, 55, you know, and upwards, they are educated. There's a chance that they already got burned by a narcissist. There's a chance that they've already seen this happen to a friend or experienced, experienced it themselves. No, you won't get those people. So the aging narcissist is not happy because they're, every day they get older, and every day they have to improve themselves more and more. It's an uphill battle, one they cannot win. They will not win. So the, the, the narcissist has a lot of fun when they're younger. Middle age, sure. But as they get older, the game runs dry. People don't fall for it that much anymore. And more importantly, they will be exposed. You can only have so many relationships that end the same way. And the narcissist, although they won't admit it, the people around them see it and they understand how it is. So I wanted to let you know about that. Keep a good eye out, keep a good lookout for their eyebrows, um, implants, things like that. It's just, like I said, other people do it, but the narcissist takes it to a different level. And teeth, I left teeth out too, that's a huge one. Um, pay attention to it. For all you narcissists out there that are watching this, God bless you. It's really too bad that you don't see how you hurt people, but you do. And for everybody tuning into the channel that is in an abusive narcissist relationship, stay strong. You are not alone. We are all here for you. Like, comment, share this video. I'm going to continue to put out more content. And uh, God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. I appreciate it. And keep an eye out for those eyebrows because the eyebrows say an awful lot about a narcissist. An awful lot about the narcissist. Bye, you guys.